Um, we just got away from the little things. Um, first half, we really shared the ball, knocked down a lot of open shots. Um, we were the ball great, sharing the ball, one extra pass. Um, second half, I think we got a little tense, we got to relax, we're up 30 points. Um, we got to try and keep that lead and just um, relax, I think. And, um, we're going to learn from this, grow from this, and we just got to keep that 30 point lead, that 20 point lead, and um, just kind of keep the um, that foot on the pedal. What, what, why do you guys think you guys weren't able to relax in the second half? Um, some of the things that they did defensively, uh, obviously double team in the post. Um, the first time we really saw that, uh, just kind of learning from that. Um, a lot of one passes and um, trying, trying to make move, trying to make a shot, um, quick shot. Um, we just got to share the ball, move the ball, use the shot clock. Really, um, we had a lot of silly turnovers in the second half as well. Um, trying to force passes that that aren't there, um, and just if it's not there, just pull the ball out and uh, run more offense and use more of the shot clock. What did Coach Howard say after the game? Um, you said we did, we, we did a great job. I mean, we still have a lot, a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we did a lot of great work in the first half. In the second half, we just got to clean some stuff up. Um, but um, he's just proud of how, how hard we worked the whole game. What was the mood with the players after the game? Uh, we, I mean, we were, we we're happy. A win's a win. Sure. Um, especially uh, for Coach Howard, it's, it's his first win. So that's something uh, special to be a part of um, this group. And um, I mean, it's our first game. It's a long season. We're going to learn from this. We're going to grow from this. And, uh, we got, we still got a lot, a lot, a lot of improvement to do, and uh, that's what practice for. And uh, we'll come back, come back tomorrow and this week. Uh, we don't play for another week, I think, and uh, we'll get better. You said you weren't relaxed. How do you break out of kind of that mode that you were in, where you you weren't converting on the little things and you know turning the ball over? How do you kind of get out of that? Um, I mean, I think just staying focused. I mean, you saw as we came out the first half, we were on fire. We were locked in defensively, offensively. We were doing the little things. And we just got to come out in the second half and do the same thing. We got to act as a score is 0 0 in the second half, not us up 30. Um, I mean, kind of looking up at the score, we were kind of scoreboard watching, clock watching. And I mean, we're, we're, we're still a young team. We, we saw the four sophomores out there at one time with X. And uh, last year, they were freshmen, they didn't get a lot of time. So this is really their first game experience. And they're going to learn from it, grow from it. Uh, we're going to watch film. And um, we just got to stay locked in mentally um, in the second half if, if we come out, if, if we're up by 30 again. What did you see from Coach during the game? What was his personality like, and how does it compare to practices? Um, he, he, it's similar in practices. I mean, he's, he's always teaching. He loves to teach. Um, he, he's giving us feedback, and we're talking to him, and we're seeing what we see on the floor. Um, and we're, we're just talking back and forth. We're just c continuing that trust that we have together. Um, and we see that in practice every day. He comes and talks to us. He's teaching us, and he loves to teach. And that, that translates into the game today, too. You guys had 10 turnovers in the second half. What was the main cause of that, do you think? Uh, just a lot of us uh, forcing stuff and we give credit to their defense. They, they played well in the second half, too. Um, we, were last, uh, we were kind of lazy with the ball a little bit in the second half, forcing stuff. Uh, I mean, the windows are there, but um, they had, you give credit to the defense. Like I said, they closed down those, those holes and um, uh, they got their hands on the ball and they were able to deflect it and get out of transition and run. So, I mean, we just got to take care of the ball more in the second half. And, um, I trust Eli, X, um, Dave, all to do that. Did you feel like part of it was the big lead? Like you guys wanted to try those passes out? You felt like there was more room for errors there? Um, maybe a little bit. Maybe it felt too comfortable. Um, I mean, X, if he sees you, he's going to try and thread the needle. And he, he's a great pace, passer. And um, we, we trust him to make that pass. And sometimes it gets deflected. Um, and sometimes you got to live with it. Uh, but he's going to learn from those mistakes, and I, I know he'll watch the film and he'll see if we're open or not. And we're going to trust him to keep making those passes because um, we all know he can make those in the game. You had nine in the first uh, three minutes of the game, so what was working for you offensively? I mean, Coach, Coach drew up a lot of great plays, and uh, fortunately enough, I was able to finish on the rim. My teammates were finding me. Uh, and just used, used my height advantage. I mean, they were kind of small uh, in the front court, and so me and Colin, Brandon, whoever went in there, we used our advantage. and. I was able to get a quick, a quick couple points in the first couple minutes. You mentioned that double teams is something their defense did in the second half to give you trouble. Was there anything else specifically that, that their defense did? Is that uh, I think that, like that. them just being more aggressive. Um, I mean, on the ball, off the ball, just kind of everything they're doing. Um, we give credit to their defense. They played well. They were well coached. And uh, second half, they they came out. They came out um, just more aggressive than we were. Um, and we, we're going to see that um, from time to time. And we just got to learn from that and grow from that. Yeah. Down the stretch when the game was on the line again, and timeouts were called and instructions were shouted out by Coach Howard. What, 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 what did you hear from him? What was his approach? Um, he was very calm in the huddle. I mean, you, you, um, you can tell that um, he's been a player and he's been an assistant coach and helping out. And he was very calm in the situation. He didn't panic. Um, he was teaching us still, even at the moment, telling us what to do, uh, where to be. And um, we, 
trust him at least to make the right decisions, and uh, that's what he did. How different did Eli look on the court today as opposed to you know his first two seasons? Um, Eli uh, looks so much more comfortable out there. Um, his confidence is is so, is, uh, so high right now. And I'm, I'm so proud of him. I'm happy for him. He's put in a lot of hard work. Uh, he's been through ups and downs his freshman sophomore year. And um, that, give credit to him. He, he's sticking with it. He stayed here all, all summer, spring and summer. He's putting the work. Um, and um, it's one of my best friends. And so I'm very happy for him. And you can just see him at the end of games with the ball in his hand. Even at the beginning of the game, he's comfortable. He's able to knock down threes. He can get the rim. He can rebound. He can do all the little things, too. Right. The big thing with him, he says, is he wants to have a more aggressive mindset, I guess. How do you guys make sure he continues to have that type of mindset moving forward? Um, he's just got to keep attacking. If he sees old ball, um, just keep attacking. And then uh, we got to stay on him. And if we see him kind of just. Stand back, shooting threes. We, we can um, get, get to the paint, um, not just for himself, but uh, kick out to others. And um, he, uh, he has a great IQ for the game. And he's, he's going to find the open man if he gets into the paint. Long drought in the exhibition game with seven minutes. Today it was closer to nine. Who steps up in those moments? Um, I think everyone at one time or another steps up. Um, you, you can go through the starting five. There's a couple guys that came off the bench. Um, any one of them, really, any time their numbers call, they're going to step up. And, we trust each other, and we know that we're going to get the job done. And um, during close games or blowouts, we just got to keep working. Did anyone say anything in particular that stood out to you maybe tonight? Uh, I mean, we're all kind of talking on the huddle. I mean, obviously, Alex talks a lot, and Isaiah, and then I was chirping, chirping in, too. Um, I mean, and even Coach Howard, too. So, I mean, we all kind of talk and give information back and forth. John, when you're up 30 points you know, in the second half, is there any directive? about the pace of play I mean, to, to keep at it or to do the opposite and take more time off the clock, or is it not, not really mentioned? Uh, I mean, we like to keep playing fast. Um, I mean, obviously, if we see a situation where we don't have numbers, we'll take it out and um, just kind of go with the clock a little bit. Um, but if there's opportunity to get a transition, fast break, layup, dunk, or something like that, um, we're going to go for it. We like to play fast. And we saw that tonight in the first half, we were able to get a transition and run. In the second half, we kind of got away from that. We obviously we weren't getting stops, so we were able to do that. Um, but yeah, we like to just kind of play fast, but at the same time, we can play slow and play in a half court as well. During, during some of those timeouts then, I guess, during the long drought, was there any any talk about getting back to one pace or the other? Was, was that a factor, I guess, in the drought? Um, I mean, he, he was just kind of saying that if we have it, just go for it. I mean, if you're able to get to the hoop, uh, get to the hoop, kick, kick the open man. Um, but if there's nothing, he was kind of drawing off sets to him in the second half a little bit. I mean, they kept going back and forth between zone and man, um, so that was messing with us a little bit. But, I mean, we just got to run sets, so we got to execute, and um, we, we, we turned it over in the second half, so a lot of the shots we were able to get, um, we turned it over. Um, so we just got to execute better in the second half. During their big run, what's Juwan like on the sideline and the what's, what's his, what's his, what's his demeanor like? Uh, he just told us to be calm. Um, a couple times in the first half, we made a run. In the second half, he just all told us to take a deep breath, uh, just relax. Like that's why there's game runs, and it's gonna happen. Um, and you just take a deep breath and uh, just kind of go with out there. And I mean, uh, after after something happens, just the next play, move on, um, learn from it, and see what you did right, see what you did wrong, or something. We were gonna grow from it. And he, was, he said a couple times, just take a deep breath and relax and just stay home. Does it weigh on you? Did you ever look peek at the scoreboard when I mean you realize the misses start piling up and it's kind of going the other way? Yeah, a couple times I looked up. Um, I don't like, really usually like to do that, um, but obviously uh, you, you're not making shots and they're making shots. Uh, it's out there once in a while. Um, I try not to do that, um, but you, you always know that um, if you're not making shots and they are, they're coming back. They're creeping in the game. They're getting, um, and so we just got to learn from it and execute more down the stretch, and we'll be better at that. You guys had a few multi-big lineups, lots of offensive rebounding. I guess what's that like for you? It's a little different than what Elon used to do. Yeah, it definitely is different. Um, I, I really enjoy playing um, with big with, with Colin or Brands in there. Um, I really like that. Um, yeah. But I got a great pass. I can throw it the one time. I think Brand got the dunk. Uh, I think one time Colin or something got the bucket or something. Uh, but I enjoy playing with those big lineups. I remember Isaiah's at the three, um, Colin or Brand at the four, me at the five. So, I mean, I enjoy that. Um, and we're just. So it's still early, still kind of playing around with those lineups too, and seeing what works, what doesn't, um, how we kind of mesh together. But yeah, I, I kind of enjoy it.